So here we have a GCSE exam question on transformations and part A gives us a diagram and says describe fully the single transformation, the single transformation, so just one, that maps shape A onto shape B and part B takes that same shape but positions it down here and says translate that shape by the vector minus 5, 6. Now before we have a look at the examiner's remarks. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to label up A and B. So it's very important that you understand how to do this. Make sure that you are using you're finding the corresponding points. So in other words, if this is A, B, C, D, and E, let's make that B a little clearer. Okay then we need to have a look at that shape and see well the corresponding point must be here and if we have labeled this correctly as a prime we should be able to figure out what's happened to a to get it to a prime and b to b prime and so on around the object one of the first clues in fact about what kind of transformation this is is noting that a prime b prime c prime d prime and e prime that's going in an anti-clockwise direction exactly the same as we have here when we labeled up the object so the image and the object um, are what we're looking at here anyway let's have a look before we go ahead and answer this question let's have a look at the examiner's remarks okay so they say many students showed a poor understanding of transformations in both parts of this question. Very few, in fact, understood and correctly applied the term translation in part A. So this is, in fact, a translation. A number of students did attempt to write the translation in vector notation. So if they got that it was translation, they went for this vector notation, but they didn't always do that with success. Part B was answered, though, a little better than Part A. OK, so Part A was a serious problem for a lot of students. All right, so we have to describe, first of all, the single transformation. And we've started to um, figure out why it's definitely a translation. We can see this idea of anti-clockwise and anti-clockwise. We can see visually that the orientation of A and B are the same so there's no rotation um, so we could rule out rotation there's certainly no enlargement it's not bigger or smaller and so it, neither is it reflected if it was reflected it would uh, th these labels for example A prime B prime and so on they would be now clockwise rather than anti-clockwise on the object so for all those reasons we should be able to recognize the translation so it's a translation so the first mark is for identifying it as a translation and now we need to specify the vector well if we draw let's use a different color if we draw um, a line going horizontally and then vertically from A to A prime here that should give us the vector for all of the uh, for all of the points in fact the whole shape so let's go ahead and do that so if we draw from A horizontally until we get above A prime like that and then down to A prime and then we simply need to count We simply need to count, so translation by the vector, we need to count how far we go in uh, to the right in this case, in the horizontal direction. And if it's going to the right, then it's going to be positive. So uh, 2, 4, 6, 7. So 7 in the horizontal direction gives us our, the first component of our vector. And then 1, 2 in a vertical direction. But instead, the normal direction is going up, same as the arrow on the uh, axis. So because this is going against the arrow, so going down, then we're going to say this is 2, but in the negative direction. So minus 2. 
OK, so that completes part A. But just before we finish part A, let's just check in case we've counted it incorrectly. Uh, so I'm going to draw one more, uh, draw some more lines going from, uh, let's choose a nice easy one, going from D to D prime. So that won't interfere with the object. So it's worth a quick check just to make sure we've done this right. So let's have a look. So yes, that again goes seven uh, horizontally and two vertically going down, definitely going down, so in the negative direction, so this must be correct. Okay, let's move on to part B. So in part B, we have to translate the shape by the vector minus five, six. So uh, again, we can label up our object to give us a a key really that we're working from so once again we'll have a b c d e whoops c d and e and all we really need to do is start at a prime once we've got a few of these points then the rest should be straightforward. So we've got to go minus 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so that means 5 to the left, taking us to here, and 6 up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So A prime should be up here. But because that's quite a difficult thing to count and easy to make a mistake, I'm going to continue with all the others. So B, 1, 2, 3, 4, five in the negative direction and one two three four five six so we've now got b yeah c one two three four five and six takes us to here c prime d so we're going to go six again sorry negative five one, two, three, four, five, and six vertically. So that will take us to here. D prime and E. So three, four, five, and three, six takes us to E. So now we can join these together. And we've completed the question.